If you're a captive insurance agent and you're wondering, could I make 100% more money, more commission selling insurance, you found the right video. They're not going to want you to see this if you work for a captive organization. A lot of times they want to keep you in the dark or maybe tell you certain things that are not the truth. So I'm going to give you some transparency that I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to go into some depths with you. And before I go into this, my name's Jason. I'm your friend in the business, and I'm very blessed to partner and recruit and just work shoulder to shoulder with some of the most amazing brand new and veteran agents alike in our national agency selling life medicare and annuities face to face but more importantly in the telespace so free resources always for your taking and i appreciate you joining it with us in this video i hope you enjoy it so first off i started off in my career as a captive insurance agent believe it or not and i was really held down in what i was paid and this is why all right now this isn't all captive or organizations first off captive life insurance handshakes aren't always the worst but in most cases you can make a lot of times up to 100% or more money and it's a way better handshake for you so first off number 1 the reason that you're not getting a lot of compensation with some of these captive handshakes is because there's lots of layers lots of layers here you've got your whoever territorial manager, a manager under them, a manager at the office, a, a, a trainer in the field for you. Then you've got these other titles that they kind of make up. Anytime you have these titles, a lot of times they're taking part of your compensation away. There's many layers of the onion. This is why a lot of captive organizations keep the lion's share of your commissions. So if you're getting 35%, 45% for selling life insurance, maybe 50% commission, selling life insurance business, believe it or not, you're not making what you should. You can truthfully earn 100% more commission. This is so important. You're trying to make money for your family. You're trying to make people's lives better. And you being captive isn't keeping you from making people's lives better, my friends, but so much commission is lost when you have all these layers that your commissions are leaving the front door as soon as you sell that first policy. This is so important to grasp. When I was a captive insurance agent back in the day, my goodness, we're talking uh, 30s and 40s um, commissions to sell life insurance, and you can make 100% commission. That's ridiculous, and the reason that I didn't make a lot of money as a totality that I could have is because all these layers – was lost compensation, and I didn't know any better. Still made good money as a captive insurance agent. Don't get me wrong. That's why I'm saying not everybody is bound, all right, to make it in the independent space because we'll go into some of that with you. Not everybody's got that 1099 mind and grind, and there is risk in the insurance industry, but being a captive insurance agent, you're already used to the risk already, and you deserve to make more money and at least deserve to have this kind of knowledge to know that you can partner with an agency like ours at Jason Finally expense.com and make a hundred percent more in a lot of cases than you are right now this is going to help you in your profitability um, number two a lot of reasons that your commissions are lost and you're not making a hundred percent more uh, commissions selling final expense and annuities and life insurance and even medicare insurance is because they make you recruit 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 is the real kind of speech that they give you on the daily on the weekly on the monthly if you want to make more money here you got to recruit your way to the top well that's not a real way to really become a top producer they should be helping you as an insurance agent take your career to the next level but with all these layers on the management team they're taking your commissions and your compensation it's helping them in a big way if there's a hundred percent plus commission on the table and you're getting 40s, you got to go, where's the rest of that going? It's big for you to understand. You should not ever have to recruit to move your comp up. That is one of the biggest fallacies in the business. They know you're probably going to fail and they're hoping you can bring in a couple extra bodies in the door so that that wheel in the cog keeps going round and round. So if your agency is like recruit, recruit, recruit. Listen to the real message. Are they helping insurance agents become top producers? Are they mentoring one-on-one -on -one like what we do here? Are they doing a five-day training platform with every insurance agent to make sure that they're competent and confident so that they can go capitalize in this space? Listen through the noise. If the captive insurance agency's tune is recruit, recruit, or number three, move into the management team if you want to make more money, understand that the management team is probably the reason that you're making such low compensation. There is a price to pay when you've got this massive 
captive agency that has a ton of management uh, layers on it. And if you move into management, then you can make some money. You can be part of us, this us versus them mentality. That's the wrong mentality. In my opinion, if you want to make more money, you want to make more commission with insurance sales, it's so important that you have good partners in the industry that can help you and you alone become powerful. They're invested in your success, not trying to get you to invest into their management team or you being invested in their company. Because believe it or not, a lot of captive insurance agencies out there, you're not vested day one. That means you don't own your block of business. So this dream that you're building, you're building it for the captive insurance agency. You're building it for the management team. You're not building the business for you. And that's what beats up a lot of insurance agents. It costs you your business because you're building your block of business, right? All these clients that you're selling and you're like, wow, I'm stacking all these clients. I'm making a renewal business for myself. And then you find out, wow, they're only paying me 30, 40, 50, maybe 60% commission. And you're like, I could be making 100% or more commission if I went independent and didn't have all these layers of the onions where I'm losing so much money. I don't have these layers of the onion where they make me recruit to get my comp moved up, or I don't even have time. Why would I take all this time to be on the management team if they're taking so much of my money? And then you give back a tiny portion for me to be on the management team. Come on now. We've got to understand being an independent agent is massive and they don't want you to know that you can make so much more money and sometimes have way more opportunity as an independent insurance agent. If you sell final expense, for example, in my old captive days, one is none. All you got was one product to sell. In a lot of cases, it was overpriced compared to what's out in the free market. This is good for you to know. You can make not only sometimes 100%, not in all cases, but in most cases, 100% more comp if you're in the 40s, 50s uh, territory and you jump into our space. It's amazing, my friends. You can make so much more compensation. You've got so much more potential to be able to walk into that home and know that you can handle their business in the best way possible. It's such a good feeling. When I went independent, massively amazing, massively amazing. I had more opportunity with way more money on the table when I got to take care of these great people. It didn't matter if they had a dread disease. It didn't matter if they were on oxygen. It didn't matter if they were in a nursing home. I had the answers. I had the solutions, and I could find success because I could make these great prospects' lives better. I could handle the claims. I could get a hold of the underwriters like that. And some captive organizations won't even let you talk to the underwriter. They go, no, no, go talk to your manager and we'll take care of it for you. Wink, wink. And you're losing your wealth, my friends. You are losing your wealth if your captive organization is keeping the lion's share of your commissions. And also, let's talk about leads. A lot of organizations use leads as leverage over you, and you're not going to get an overwhelming level of control and capitalization if you can't even control your lead flow. A lot of captive organizations will treat you like a W-2. They're like, oh yeah, you want leads? Good. Show up for every one of these meetings. If not, well, sorry, no leads for you today. Leads are a control over you. Not only are you losing out in commissions, if you're not making 100% plus compensation selling insurance in the life space, but you're leaving a lot on the table when you can't even control your lead flow. Maybe your company is giving you data, like three-year-old data where all the numbers are disconnected tough to be dynamic, my friends, when you can't control your leads. If you want to make a lot more commission, you've got to control the leads. They're the lifeblood of your business. And if you want to make more money, you can't hamstring yourself by having a 35%, 45% compensation grid or even a 50% compensation grid. You're not going to make the money that you could. And oh, by the way, as an independent agent, you will be vested and own your block of business from the beginning. Meaning if you've been in the business for a year or two or three or four, all that money is yours. If you decide, oh, insurance isn't for me, that money still shows up in your mailbox and shows up in your checking account. You still get paid your renewals. You own your business. And a lot of captive insurance agents keep these little secrets about vesting. They also have these little secrets about a non-solicitation agreement or a non-compete, meaning you can't even, once you've been there, You sold a captive product and you realize, oh, that was priced really bad. It's not the best handshake for my mama, my friend that I sold this policy to. 
you can't go solicit and fix that person with a better product that's a better price and a better death benefit, which is better for the consumer. So a lot of times captive insurance agent handshakes come at a cost. You're going to you're not going to get as much money in a lot of cases. Your compensation is really diminished and your opportunity is also in a place where someone else controls your destiny. There is risk as an insurance agent, especially the independent space, but there's risk being captive. You've got to realize, do I want to make more money? Do I want to have more control, more opportunity? Do I want to own my block of business so that no one can tell me what to do with my block? You've got to have a strong way about you. When you're an independent agent, you need a good work family like what we provide here at jasonfinalexpense.com. You've got to have good partners around you so that you can keep your mind right and hopefully your money right too. But you can make so much more money in most cases. Now, there's a couple exceptions, but we've had so many captive insurance agents that have joined and partnered here and found they could make so much more commission selling insurance, even with annuities. My, there's some captive organizations that won't even let you sell an annuity without using a financial advisor because that model is all about taking your money, not about compliance. It's about taking your commission dollars. So if they're paying you, let's say 3%, and then the FA goes out there and says, well, only the financial advisors can sell the annuities. And then guess what? They'll split it with you. And then you're not even in the home. You're making what a percent and a half selling an annuity. That's not even right. In my opinion, it's just not. Now you got to be compliant. We've got powerful partners that we have in our agency. We've got assets that if you need to have a financial advisor that will handle their business because we're not in that business. We're insurance agents, right? We've got the people that can handle those things without it diminishing your paper, your money, your commissions. You being captive a lot of times comes at an extreme cost. In most cases, not all cases, my friends, you can make 100% or more commissions. You can control your leads, control your destiny, but more importantly, control the dollars that you make because this business that you're building should be for you, not for your management team to take if you leave before you're vested. Happens to more people than you may even know. And we're not even talking about other things that you can just powerfully serve these prospects with. So I hope this video brings you value. Hope you like it. Uh, share it with a buddy. If they're in a captive environment that they're making less than 100% compensation, if they're in a 45%, 50% handshake, handling the business of being the best. Uh, captive agents are amazing. I love captive insurance agents because when they taste what freedom tastes like, their take-home pay, their commissions are so much greater, and there's nothing better than this industry. Being an independent life, the independent life of the insurance agent world is just phenomenal. If I can be a help to you, or you just need some advice or someone to talk to, reach out at jasonfinalexpense.com. I promise I will personally connect with you and help you in any way I can. Thanks for watching. Have a powerful day today. And more importantly, take care of these great people. They need you, and I need you to know this information so that you can hopefully be informed. And with knowledge, hopefully, will come a powerful solution for you moving forward. We'll see you soon.